and then you come down to the swim platform and it's almost like a dock for the dinghy. So you can walk right, step right into the dinghy. Huge wide swim platforms with a very substantial swim ladder. Now this space, you just pick it up and store it right on the cradle and it's contained in here. Let's take a look inside the cockpit. The cockpit of the 5 Series, you'll notice there's lots of seating around here, but you also have a nice teak table that folds up and folds out. So everyone can sit around and have a nice meal together. Notice the teak. This is natural teak. Uh, it can be cleaned and brought up to original color or you can let it go gray. Either way, um, it's fine for the teak. You just don't want to overbrush it. Now, you'll notice the elevated helm station here. The helm station is intentionally raised so that you have great visibility from up there. All your sailing is done from here. All your control lines are led aft to the helm station. You have at least four electric winches here. Uh, your throttles are up here. All your navigation is up here at the helm. So, now you also have a covered bimini top, which you can remove the, uh, the sunscreens on and let more light in, but it's nice to have to get out of the sun as well. Okay, on the nav station, notice you'll have your throttles and shifters right here, your Volvo Penta start controls and tachometers. Uh, this is where you start the engines and turn them off. It has Volvo 75 horsepower diesels the D2 series. Uh, here you have uh, searchlight controls. You have a searchlight on the mast. Uh, these are controls for your Raymarine GS125 system. And this integrates your radar and your chart plotter and many other functions. Now, you also have individual controllers over here for your autopilot and whatever else you want to assign to these. So you can configure your screen any way you want. The uh, compass here is a fixed Olympic compass, and you have uh, your electric winch controls here and here with your line clutches just forward of the winches. Now let's take a look down below at the uh, salon. Okay, this is the salon. We're looking at the navigation station in the salon. It does have a navigation station where you can lay your charts out. A lot of boats don't have that anymore, but this is an ocean crossing vessel and you should have paper charts and they realize that and you have a place to lay them out. Now, you also have here uh, your autopilot controls, your radio remote here, and a sat phone here, as well as a repeater for your uh, instrumentation and chart plotter. Uh, you also have controls for your water maker. It's got the sea recovery system and your generator start panel, your Cummins Onan and a, a remote speaker here, as well as your stereo controls and a digital touchscreen uh, circuit breaker uh, panel. So this is all modern and easily accessed by touchscreen. Uh, there's also a Dell computer, which is a separate backup uh, navigation system included, and you can just be used as a basic laptop, or not a laptop, but a uh, a desktop station as well. Okay, let's take a look around the galley. Okay, in the galley we have, starting with the on the left, we have an ice maker. Uh, that's a built-in feature. Right next to the stove and oven, you have a four burner, heavy duty, gas propane stove and oven. Uh, there's also a toaster oven above it. Then. Looking around to the right, you'll see a household size LG dishwasher. The owners told me he's only turned it on once to see if it works, never used. Then you have a two bay stainless steel sink, and then you have two refrigerator, drawer type refrigerators. There's more refrigeration downstairs. We'll get to that next with loads of counter space. It's easy for cooking and great for entertaining. Okay, in the salon, we have a large table, which will retract into a bed. Now, there's also plenty of seating 
around here. And you'll notice that there are curtains that retract and shades that roll up. So we have exterior um, shades and we have interior shades, which will retract and disappear from sight. You also have screens. So you can, if you decide not to use the air conditioning, you can just leave the screen open. You'll also see another TV over here and some more seating. You have blinds over the three panel custom sliding door. This door opens in two sections, one stays, and the other two open for allowing access and air through. Okay, this is the starboard forward cabin of a four cabin layout. Notice that you have a queen size berth and then on the inboard side, then forward of that you have a dedicated shower, just the shower stall, and then you have the sink and vanity with cabinets behind it and more storage. Then moving slightly aft, you have more storage and cabinets and the toilet closet. Very European styling. Then on, on the inboard side, we have more cabinets and mirrors and a dresser. And then a, a door to close off the entire cabin. On the starboard aft cabin, we have a washer dryer. The LG washer dryer is enclosed in the cabinet and has never been used, only tested by the owner. And uh, you have access to uh, your electrical panel here, a manual set of breakers, and then you have storage above that. In the starboard aft cabin, you have a shower on this side and then another toilet closet directly across and then you have the sleeping area. Now this is currently set up as two twins. However, by turning them 90 degrees, you have a queen size bed with a step up to it. So all you have to do is turn the mattresses and remove that little panel and you have a queen size bed in here. So it is convertible. You also have hanging lockers and storage in this cabin as well as plenty of ventilation and screens. Okay, we're on the port side now, and this is an identical layout to the starboard side we just looked at. Only difference is you have a large refrigerator and freezer here. And this could be either refrigerator or freezer, depending on how you set it. Okay, I'm Larry Schaefer, listing broker for Just Catamarans on this boat. This is a Privilege 5 Series four cabin boat with cruise quarters and she's listed for sale in Fort Lauderdale. Call me if you want to make an appointment to see it. I'll be happy to show it to you. Thanks for your time.